So I do want to bring you guys just a little bit closer to see these butterfly designs that I've created with our new foils from our collaboration. And they do come in a little packet like this here. Really small container compared to those boxes of like different foils that you get all in one. You put it here to save yourself some space in your storage and I find that pretty cool because you can always put these in a notebook of you know foils or a photo album book and just put your foils in there um, they are available in Shein so download Shein app and you can get some there they're just like different size butterflies they are a little bit bigger um, they are on the bigger side but they do look real nice this is so pretty and then we have the ombre galaxy kind of butterflies and then the um, green and orangey which are a bit more smaller they will fit on medium to small nails um, and also of course extra long nails so this is where they come from we've already you know transferred them on here as well as place some of our nail decals from that collaboration and I used the little um, caviar beads as well as I used these little line metals so they do have different textures on them as you guys can see here the more rounded ones um, you know so it's kind of the same thing but these are the ones that we use and again as I said we do have the charms and the rhinestones and the little crystals on the nails today here and I kind of want to pick this up it is iridescent butterfly so pretty so detailed and we did put this on a dual form to be able to fit it in the uh, practice silicone hand and I do have a new video of that if you guys missed it go back and check that out but look at that this is so cute and this butterfly also does come from that same collaboration store so if you guys want that let me know and golden yellow stones be nice to create that nail design it's so enchanting and very very extra and of course as I always tell you my clients are always a little extra these are the nails I created using these foils so I do want to show you guys more of the practice hand that I just got and do more design videos. So if you are up to see that, make sure you guys are putting your notification bell on so that you are notified every time that I post a new video which will have content of new nail designs, crystal placements, uh, nail foil transfers, whatever you guys need or you know want to practice on or see a little bit more of it understand let me know down below and with that I do want to show you my newest product that I have and I do want to play with this a little bit I did do some uh, canvases with my sister um, the other day like watercolor set comes in six and then the back looks like this we Beach. had got it from Ross Beach. and it is very affordable Beach. so Beach. that being said yes good job Beach. so this is what we got these are the colors we have here on the back it's gold rose amethyst sapphire emerald and I don't know what that last color is but we did get it from Ross this is the price on here so you can also get some really cool um, products from the local stores that are near you and this is how they look to make nail art like you can make nail art out of um not almost everything but a little bit of everything i do want to test these out also so with that being said let's go ahead and move these to the side okay, so i'm just gonna spray this here it does say water solution um Pour some water in here. So that'll be our water solution. Let's go ahead and put some water in here. Actually, buy some more of these because I'm running out. Okay, 
Okay, so I do have my black and my white. We will go ahead and open these up. These are available on AliExpress. They are Venalisa color mud gels. I do recommend these for uh, painting art stamping. They work pretty good. So I will have to grab I feel like we should have mat matted the nail first, but we're already two toes deep, so let's keep going. So we're going to try and repeat this with the right way much smoother and better. You see that? Kind of turning into an ombre. Mm. Oh, we're going to get the other one. And go in. And then you can sway that in also, just a little bit. Want to be gentle. Very, very gentle. And then we're going to cure. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my gel matte top coat from Broadway. And we're going to cure her for 60 seconds right now. And then you want to wipe that off. And then we can put these away for now and move on to the watercolor metallics. Which I'm really excited to get into. As you guys can see, the um, colors are a little bit um, fading back in and getting dry. So we're just hovering little drops over the puddles that are already there. Okay, real nice and ombre. So we're gonna go in with the first color. Wow, it is better than I expected. Do you see this? Circle. You guys see this? It's like literally putting gold on your nail or something. Like Yo, that looks so pretty. Okay, so these are definitely going to be able to be used up in this nail uh, design type of style. So I do recommend these. Um, yeah, so if you find this at your Ross, whenever you go, check out the Arts and Craft um, clearance section. And you might just find this like I did. And I'm really happy that I picked this up because, dude, that is so pigmented. So pretty. So here I just wanted to add in that um, I am placing matte on top of these first before I place the colors of the Venalisa so that they slide on more smoothly instead of streaky and like stop halfway when applying. I'm going to apply some of this so that it just glides on very smooth. And this is how they end up looking. They do dry up a little bit matte. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it does look a little, the gold does look matte. Sorry about the piano in the background. But yeah, that looks real good. And it's glossy, shiny. So I wonder what would happen if we put our gel matte top coat using this one here from the Yogi. If you guys haven't checked out Yogi, you guys should check them out. I haven't actually bought anything from them since I first started, but um, the Yogi's products did not let me down. Um, so I might have to go check them out myself. But Yogi is a really good brand. So go ahead and check them out. I've never had no trouble with them also. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and build these back up on the black and white ombre design on the other swatches.
these are all mattified and um, they do come out um, very metallic um, gloss with a little bit of shimmer in them um, but we put it like this way so the gold one was definitely blended very well I don't know about the other ones we still are practicing our blending on ombre but I think they, they are they're almost there but either way so this is how they turned out and we're gonna go ahead and try and um, see how else we can create the nail looks using blooming gel I think we will be able to separate the colors even more um, and we might just get a cool effect so let me know down below if you guys want me to try it with blooming gel with you guys but for now this is how they look used with just plain water in a little tap a bottle of water with blooming gel or any other nail designs using this product let me know and that is pretty much it I will see you all in the next one